stars in the industry. And now, After Buzz TV's own gorgeous lady of wrestling, TK Trinidad. Bonjour, you're watching Women's Wrestling Weekly, the number one women's wrestling show on the planet. My name is TK Trinidad, aka the Canadian Assassin, and we have nothing but amazing guests on this show, and today is no different. She is the ultimate hugger, a WWE superstar, and the SmackDown Women's Champion. Please welcome Bailey. Hello. Hi, how are you doing? Me. How are you doing today? I'm doing great. So uh, first, shout out to Jeff. Uh, shout out to Josh and Jeff, I guess. Jeff's our engineer. And then Josh for making this happen. Um, I've been in communication with Josh forever, trying to get some of you guys on the show. So I really appreciate it. So thank you, Bailey, for coming on. Thank you, WWE, for making this happen. And thank you for the fans in the chat for keep on uh, asking us to make it make it work. So Kyle, let's get, 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 let's get into it. So you've been in the game for about 10 years. Um, you have done a lot of firsts uh, for women's wrestling for WWE. What do you hope the next five or 10 years will bring? Um, well, for, you know, top of my head, um, the tag team, women's tag team titles are really special to me. So I really want that division to take off and for, uh, just women to have dreams of becoming a, a tag team and then to, you know, fight for those titles. I just want it to be really special. Um, so I hope within, you know, the next few years we can make that something as, as important as the women's titles and as important as the heavyweight title and intercontinental title and all that stuff. And um, as for me, seeing as we just had a women's main event with Ronda Rousey, Charlotte Flair, and Becky Lynch, mm -hmm. that's mm -hmm. always been a goal of mine. So that is something that I still work towards every single day. Now, do you have a favorite belt, like NXT, uh, SmackDown belt, tag team belt? Is there like a favorite one that you're like, this is what I'll like put on my mantle? Uh, well, all of them are on my mantle, but uh, <laughs> <laughs> I think the the tag tag titles are most special to me yeah so like if there were i mean let's knock on wood hopefully it never happens if there were a fire and you have to grab one belt it'd be the tag team belt yes okay yeah. <laughs> and now um you said lita was a huge impact um for you like before you even started and like pretty much throughout your career um now you've been in the game for a long period of time has lita given you is there like one piece of advice that she's given you that you kind of um hold close um not really like I try not to geek out too much when I'm with her and she definitely knows because the first time I met her um, Wrestlemania 31 or something I told her how much she meant to me it was the year that she was inducted into the Hall of Fame so I think I kind of scared her that year mm -hmm. but uh, <laughs> once her and Trish started coming around a little bit and I got to work with them they them together were very good to uh, us and, and just kind of helping us keep our head straight and make sure you know like you guys are the ones that are changing the game you guys there's a special um, division that you have right now so just kind of look always think about the future and that's kind of how we're always trying to think so I think just having Trish and Lita there during that time the time period that they were there was really special and instrumental to us yeah that was amazing it was like a leading up to a women's evolution and just seeing like you know the old guard and new guard like all come together and just make it work was was an amazing thing for just yeah. me, myself as a viewer now we did have women's evolution it was about a year ago are you hoping for because they didn't have one last year are you hoping for either another women's evolution or at least uh, a separate women's show yeah i i mean i don't see a reason why there wouldn't be an evolution too because it, it was such a success last year and right. all the matches were so awesome and I hope I'm not just being biased but it was sold out from what I can remember and it, it just had a great response from all of our fans so I think it's definitely something that um, we should be doing this year Yeah. and uh, if it were up to me I would like to have you know the NXT girls and the NXT UK girls be able to have more of their own matches just to kind of change it up a little bit as well. Yeah, definitely switch up. Um, now, I know you are a big CrossFitter. Actually, uh, your trainer, Josh G, and I, we used to MC CrossFit events together, so small oh, cool. world. Um, shout out to Joshy G. I know, shout out to Joshy G. He's, uh, he's awesome. Definitely a wrestling yeah. fan since I've known him and probably beyond that. Um, has there ever been, like, do you, is there a workout that you remember that you're like, oh my God, this was terrible and it always, it'll go down in the record books? Yeah, there was one. Uh... I'm, I just did one yesterday, but it wasn't Josh G program, so he'd probably be mad at me if I mentioned it. Uh, but he had he had one for Becky Two Belts when she had just won after WrestleMania, or it may have been for her birthday. 
So it was like 32, it was like a mile run, 32 power cleans, 32 thrusters, 32 Uh something else, and then another mile run. And it was just insane. I couldn't, like, I could not feel my arms towards the end of it. The Becky Two Belts workout was killer. I hated it. I hated Joshy G for about two hours. Yeah, sounds about right. Now, (laughs) your birthday was uh, on the 15th. Yes. Happy belated birthday. Thank you. So is there going to be a crossword wad for your birthday? Is that going to be in the works? That's what I, yeah, that's what I was a little upset with him about. Yeah, I can't be mad at him because he literally just sent me a video about an hour ago of him at the gym with one of my favorite actors from New Girl, Schmidt. Oh. They were working out together. So I can't be too mad at him. He did do that for me. It's really sweet. But I'm going to tell him that he needs to make a Bailey Blue Belt Championship yeah. birthday video <laughs> workout. Whatever. Uh, yeah, I like. I'm gonna tag him on this. It, that that needs to be done. I mean, a birthday yeah. wad is a must. Right. Thank you. <laughs> no problem. And now uh, you talked about. Um, I saw in a previous interview you were talking about Candice LeRae, how she was a really good friend of yours on on the indie scene. So she's she's been on NXT for a, for a while. Um, yeah. Is there any talks? Like, do you guys have conversations on you know when she makes it to the 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 main stage? You know what you guys are hoping to do. Uh, I mean, I'll, I haven't talked to her, you know, recently about any of that, but like before she even got hired, we were, I was always trying to get her into the trials and always trying to get her noticed and just wanted her cause she's wrestled, wrestled like way before me. Like I remember watching her matches. And then when I started training, we had matches together and we just really clicked. And she's just such a great person and even better wrestler. Uh, is, is that a mean thing to say? She's a great person, great wrestler. Um, <laughs> But I know when she gets to either Raw or SmackDown that she's going to change the division and she's really going to make people uh, want to step it up because she really uh, has everything. Like, she can do it all. She can technical wrestle. She can fly. She can uh, power slam somebody. Mm -hmm. So I just want at least one match with her. We always say that. We just need one match together for the WWE. Yeah, nice. And the women's locker room is filling up quite a bit. Is there anybody that you haven't had a match with that you're looking forward to having a match with eventually? Uh, I don't think there's anybody on Raw and SmackDown that I haven't been able to wrestle yet. There's definitely a ton of... um, I want to... Piper Niven, she's in um, NXT UK. UK, yeah. Uh, Rhea Ripley. Like I said, Candice LeRae. We haven't had a singles match before. Um... There's a lot of uh, a lot of girls in NXT that I yeah. just want variety, you know. Yeah, there seems to be like a lot of variety coming down the pipe, so I can't wait. That's why yeah. I'm, I think there should be a show or some type of I don't know quarterly show or something where it's just like all the women get together from all facets because that would be awesome. Yes, I agree. Hopefully someday. Some cross cross fingers, like someday yeah. this year in 20, 2019. We'll we'll see. Right, like around October. <laughs> yeah, that, I, I like that. <laughs> um, so we're gonna hit some rapid hot tags. Women's wrestling rapid hot tag. So I'm gonna ask you a few questions. You're gonna ask me the first thing that comes to your mind. So always early or always late. Always early. Uh, last person you text. Uh, <laughs> Sasha Banks. Okay. If you could listen to one album for the rest of your life, what would it be? Paramore their latest album um called them a terrible fan it's their latest album okay i'll take that if you could have a superpower what would it be to fly i like that weekends or weekdays weekends uh late owl or early riser <laughs> late owl uh I try if... to early rise can't do it <laughs> um if uh, hugs or kisses hugs cardio or weights Wait. And uh, if you were a crayon, what color would you be? Um, purple. And if you were on death row, what would be your last meal? My last meal? Yeah. Any any type of Mexican food, preferably tamales and chips and salsa. Okay, so like like from house home, like homemade or from a yeah. restaurant? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. I like that. Well, thank you so much for yeah. coming on. Really appreciate it. I know it's hectic for you today, um, but... Thank you for taking the time. Now, uh, just in case uh, people don't, you know, are not following you, because I think they should. You should, and, and when you see this, you should also say belated happy birthday, I'm just saying. Uh, where can yeah. everybody follow you on social media? Twitter is it's Bailey WWE. Instagram is it's me, Bailey. 
boom. Thank you so much. I hope you have a wonderful rest of the day. And I'm looking forward to seeing that uh, birthday workout from Josh G. Yes, you better do it. Say, I'm just one saying. Thanks so much. Right. Have a good day. Thank you. Appreciate it. Now, uh, you guys can follow us on everything at AfterBuzz. Uh, subscribe. Hit that subscribe button on YouTube. Definitely hit us up on iTunes. Leave a comment. We're reading all of that good stuff. You can follow us on WPW Weekly on Instagram and Twitter. If there's any other folks that you want to see on our show, please DM us all that good stuff. And other than that, you can follow me on everything at TK Trinidad. Till next time, guys. Ciao. From executive producers Kevin Undergaro, Maria Menunos, Phil Svitek, Producer TK Trinidad and me, Mark Donica, your voice of AfterBuzz TV Wrestling. We ask you to rate and comment on iTunes, subscribe to AfterBuzz Wrestling on YouTube, and find us on all social media. Thank you for watching Women's Pro Wrestling Weekly. See you next week. <laughs>